welcome dear viewers so today we are looking at question 17 from the 2017 gce mathematics paper one and our question of interest leads a bag of potatoes as mass 15.4 plus or minus 0 0.05 kg find the tolerance of this mass write down the relative error of this mass as a fraction in its simplest form and we are looking for four marks here so let us start with question a so question a we've been given a 15.4 plus or minus 0 0.05 so what we've been given this is the actual value which is a xa the actual the true value of the mass of these potatoes or the bag of these potatoes then we have this so this is the absolute error remember we are adding or subtracting a positive uh, uh, 0 0.05 okay so this is the absolute error okay then the question is asking us to find the tolerance so the tolerance which we shall call uh, t or tl is given by so it's basically the absolute the absolute error let us use a e absolute error then you multiply by two so it's the interval within the measurement should write the true measurement so we can allow to be off by uh, 0 0.5 above or below that's why we are multiplying it by 2 so the absolute error is just 0 0.05 then the that the the summation of upward and downward okay allowance is the tolerance uh, value so in this case so we multiply now we know that this is the absolute error so we have basically a 0 0.05 multiplied by 2 we end up with 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 kg is in this case the tolerance of this mass okay so that's how you get it question a to get it, the two marks then let us go to uh, b so b is asking us write down the relative error of this mass okay so of the mass as a fraction in its simplest uh, Term or simplest form so relative error okay re in this case is given by the absolute error over the true measurement okay so in this case the actual value thus the relative error so we get in this case the absolute error is 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 then we divide by what's the true measurement 15.4 so 15.4 then we simplify this so we know that this one has got uh, two decimal places so to avoid the complication of dealing with decimal places what we do is we multiply the numerator by the same by just a, a, a special one so the special one is 100 over 100 because 100 into 100 is a 1 1 times anything is that thing so when we multiply uh, this one we multiply with this one we get a uh, base card a 5 over this one times this one we get 15 uh, 2 decimal places 1 2 so 15,000 1,540 then from there we can divide further 5 into 5 is a 1 5 into 5 is a 1 5 into 15 is a 3. Okay, remember 0. Then 0, uh, 0 here. So 5 into 40 is 8. So we have 508. Okay, 508. So basically, this is how you answer this kind of a question. So for more questions like this one, estimation, so that you are guaranteed of those four marks, please check out uh other videos so that as you go for exams you are confident enough to know that your target is 100 percent if you get 90 something is just because you are tired 
100% is very possible in mathematics. Thank you very much.